and welcome to your 3D Core Essentials Workout on Power Plate with myself, Caroline Pierce, and modifying the exercises will be Sylvie Patrick if you need to make them a little bit easier. We're going to be challenging the core in all dimensions, 3D Core Workouts. And whenever you're standing on Power Plate, I want a slight bend in the knees. And as always, I want you to be well hydrated. It'll be 30 seconds for each exercise, so set that running clock to nine minutes. So let's get started with our first warm-up exercise, which will be an upward to downward dog alternating. So with your hands on the platform, pushing through your heels, straight arms, I'm gonna be sweeping down and up, while Sylvie modifying just moves from downward to upward dog. So really feel the stretch through the hamstrings at the back of the movement, and then stretch up to stretch the core in that upward dog. Nice smooth transitions. For the full 30 seconds, we're halfway. Increase the range, you start to feel more flexible as you go through this 30 seconds. Last five seconds. And three, two, one. Now staying in this position, I want you to hold a hand plank position or forearm position if you're modifying with a single leg position. Okay, so I'm gonna lift one leg. And from here, we're gonna use our hips as a driver. Up and down. Keep strong through your core. Now side to side with that leg and hip. Keep the core strong, glutes recruited. Now we're gonna work for circles with those hips. Nice big circles with the hips. Another five, four, three, two, one, and switch legs. So now I want your right leg in the air and the hips are going down and up, down and up. Want everything strong. Now switch it up side to side. So hips and leg are moving side to side. Keep smiling through this one. <laughs> and now those big circles with the hips. Keep that leg off the ground. Give me another five seconds. Three, two, one, and back to your feet. Now we're going to go into a lunge position, front lunge with back reach to overhead reach, starting with our right leg. So forward lunge, reach, squat down, reach back. So right side to begin with. So sit into that squat, drive the arms behind and then overhead. So sit back, drive and overhead. Sit back, drive and overhead. Over halfway. Coming up for the last five seconds, and then we're gonna switch legs. Three, two, one. Okay, switch it up. Left leg forward. So drive up, back into that squat position. Nice depth into the squat and into that front lunge. Halfway. And three, two, one. I want you back in a plank position on your hands or your forearms if you're modifying. And we're using our legs as the driver here. So we're gonna start with the left leg and you drive forward and back, forward and back. Let's keep that rhythm up. Give me another couple of repetitions. And now side to side. So we're gonna go across and out, cross and out, cross and out. Feel the core kicking in now. Another couple of repetitions. I'm gonna move into rotation now. So under and out, under and out, under and out. Really rotate the body as far as you can for three, two, one. Okay, switch legs. Now it's the right knee as the driver. So in and out, in and out. Keep it up. And get ready. We're now gonna move from side to side. So out and back, out and back out and back, feel the core working. And now for that rotation. So under and out, under and out, all the way to the end. Give me another five, four, three, two, one, and relax for a second. We're now gonna move into the arm drivers in that same plank position 
on your hands or on your forearm. And we're now gonna use the arms as the driver. So starting with that right arm. Okay, we're gonna reach out, back, out, back. Keep the core strong. Okay, now across the body. So waving across, wave to your friends. <laughs> Keep strong through the arm. <laughs> and get ready for the rotations. So tuck under the body and open out. Under the body, open out. All the way to the end, last five seconds. And three, two, one, and relax for a second. We're gonna switch arms now, okay? So back into that plank position. And now you're gonna to switch to the left arm. So forward and back, forward, back, forward, back. All the way, keep it going. Another couple of repetitions. Okay, now side to side, wave across your body. Get ready for the rotation in two, one, under, out, under and out, under, out, under. All the way, three, two, one. I want you to stay on this side and get into a side plank position. Forearm on the platform, legs either stacked on top of one another or one foot in front of the other. We're gonna use our arms as a driver, so we're gonna go up, and back, up and back. Keep that momentum going. Keep it going, really reach. Okay, now across the body, over and back, over and back. We're doing another 10 seconds of this one. And three, two, one. Now under the body, transverse. Reach under, extend out. You see Silver's modified by sitting by the side of the platform. We're getting that same rotation for three, two, one. One, and relax. Good job, guys. Switch sides. Exactly the same thing, into that side plank position. Feet stacked on top of one another, or one foot in front of the other. And we're gonna drive that arm up and back, up and back. Really extend the body, extend at the hips on the way up. Keep that going, really reach. Okay, now wave overhead. Stay strong through the core. Really push up through the arm that's on the platform. Okay, we're gonna reach underneath, transverse, rotate. Give me a last five seconds here. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, sitting on the machine now in a V-sit position. Well, once again, you're gonna use our arms as the drivers. So modify, keep your feet on the floor. If you want a slightly more advanced or progressed version, put your feet off the floor. And we're gonna now work with the right arm back, left arm back. Right, back, left, back. You can either hold that V-sit position still, or you can use in-out position with the knees to activate the movement. Okay, now across. Across the body, really reach. Feel the core working. Last 10 seconds, now we go transverse. Out, 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 all the way. Three, two, one and done. Now let's get into a glute bridge position. So put your mat on the floor in front of the platform to support your shoulders. Bottom on the floor, close to the platform edge. I want you to plant your heels into the platform, toes to the sky, and reach those hips up as high as you can. And we go lower and raise the hips up and down. Really go for good range. Now keep them at the top, top when you go side to side. Shift those hips from side to side. This is 3D movement. So push the hip side to side. Now transverse, so drop the hip, rotate, drop, rotate. All the way to the end. Squeeze the glutes, keep the hips high at the top of the movement. For three, two, one. Drop your hips down for one second. We're gonna stay in the same glute bridge position and we're gonna lift and raise opposite knee and opposite hand. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and go. Reach and extend, you're lengthening out as you reach opposite hand and opposite foot to the ceiling. You should feel this through your hamstrings, through your glutes, and through the shoulders as you reach one hand at a time. Over halfway. Squeeze your hips that little bit higher if you can. And three, two, one, and relax. Let's get ready for our last exercise, which is a massage exercise. I want you to put the mat back on the platform. 
And for 60 seconds now, we're going to sit with our legs wide, so there's a space in front of us, and we're going to let our body slump forward and relax between our knees. You can raise and lower the chest to assist the movement. Now from side to side, bring your hands either side of your foot. Slow and rhythmic for this one. It's the relaxer designed to cool you down at the end of the workout. Hands back to the center and just drop opposite shoulders down. So you're rotating and just allowing your shoulders to drop. You can place your hands on the floor if you need to. Now for the last 10 seconds, just let your hands drift out in front. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come up. Roll the shoulders back, and that completes your Power Plate Core Essentials 3D workout. Take on some water, relax, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>